Hey everyone. Today I've got a box to open. Uh, this box is from Whiskey River Trading Company. And uh, if you're not familiar with Whiskey River Trading Company, they do axes. Um, axe handles, complete axes. They're kind of like the axe guys on the scene right now. So in this box, um, if you are familiar with them, you know they've been doing like a mystery axe giveaway. It's not a giveaway. You, you pay 40 bucks, you get a mystery axe head. Uh, if you're not familiar with them, with the Whiskey River Trading Company, they, every once in a while, they have a big batch of uh, vintage axe heads and you basically can pay to get a mystery axe head. So, um, that is what I have here. Um, yeah, let's open it up and see what we have in here. So in many ways, this was kind of a double gamble for me because not only did I get a mystery axe head, but I also ordered a handle for the axe head. Um, the reason that's a gamble is, um, I'll see if I can put a picture of the batch of heads that he had up, that Brandon had up. Um, but it looked like there was maybe some heads in there that weren't full size. So um, I bought a, a 36 inch curved single bit handle to go with this axe head and um, I didn't really even know if the head that I was going to get would fit it um, but based on the the heft of this box I really feel like I probably got a pretty big head it like, feels like maybe a four pound head in here uh, there's no way to know until I open it up but uh, first things first let's take a look at the handle so this is your classic curved 36 inch handle. It, it is a B grade handle, so it's it's got some sort of defect. I mean, the grain in it is still pretty good. Uh, there's a little bit of a, it's a little bit, a little bit worked down here. Um, which may be why it got the B grade rating. Um, but Whiskey River really puts out some pretty good handles. I've got an ax over here that um, I should show you guys. So this is an ax that I just hung um, on a Whiskey River handle. This is an A grade handle, so it's pretty nice. Uh, it's a single bit. It's beautiful, it's straight, it doesn't have hardly any run out. Um, it's a Sager double bit ax that I, this is a long story how I found this head, but um, yeah, I'm gonna put up a whole nother video on me hanging this at some point. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you another handle that I got from them. So anyway, this is the handle I got for my mystery head that I'm going to be hanging. So, on to the, uh, the real interesting part. Let's see what head I got. So, this is like, a, it looks like an unmarked head, maybe. I don't know, there's something on it. Let's open it up. It says Valley Forge on it. I am not familiar with this maker. Uh, 
it's definitely a splitting pattern head. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, it's well used, you know, somebody used the shit out of it on this side. But, uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool head. It'll probably take some work to, to kind of get it back to a usable shape, I would think. But, um, super cool. So, um, I am going to be fitting uh, this head onto this handle at some point. If you guys want to see that process, you know what to do. Um, it's definitely not my intention to turn this channel into like a total axe re refurbishing channel. There's plenty of those out there. If you're interested in that, you can go find that somewhere else. But have been getting into axes, restoring them, and using them to, you know, split firewood and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, you guys should stay posted if you want to see me hang this. Um, and, yeah. Thanks, Brandon. This is cool. I'm stoked.